Heat exchange is the most common type of espresso machine and an elegant solution to the flat white problem. However, we need to be able to work with them properly. Heat exchange machines are effectively a boiler within a boiler. The water inside the main boiler is heated to 125 degrees Celsius or 257 degrees Fahrenheit. Fresh cold water enters the pipe within the main boiler and heats up by heat exchange as it passes through but not into the main boiler. The hot water goes to the group head where some of the heat transfers to the air around the group head and the cooler water continues back down to the boiler where it is heated up again. This is the heat exchange problem. Two shots poured in quick succession will be brewed at different temperatures. Give the machine a rest for a few minutes and the temperature climbs again. So what's all that about? Here's the heat exchange machine at rest. Because heat rises, the hottest water is at the top of the thermosiphon circuit. When we pull the first shot, it takes up the initial hot water. The immediate next shot and the few shots after get the less hot water. Seen graphically, we've got a hot hump to get over. We purge the angry water to get over the hump and into the more easily replicable temperatures on the other side. Measuring at the top of the circuit, the temperature drops as we purge. However, if we leave the machine idle for a few minutes, the temperature rapidly rises again. So, purge the machine every time it gets left for a few minutes in order to get a consistent temperature for your shot. Not all heat exchange machines need a cooling flush. If it doesn't have angry water when you pour, it shouldn't need the flush.